Jaijin Daesuk is a legendary skilled shooter from the underground world. He has traveled the world to complete dangerous tasks around the world. One day, his beloved Magnum combat pistol was damaged and he was forced to return to his homeland in Japan. With this, he accidentally comes face to face with the ruler of a very dangerous underground city and involves a little girl as a victim. It's time for the legend to be proven, this man is fast, deadly, and dangerous. For those of you who read comics originating from Lupine, you will know this man. The true partner of Lupin the Thief, starring Tetsuji Tamayama, Yoko Maki, Katoka Maki, and Yasukazi Matamiya. Poland, a man walking in the dark of night. The man was confronted by someone and challenged to a duel with a gun, this man prepared to throw a coin. They started holding their respective guns, this was a fast-paced duel by shooting thrown coins. The gun went off in the dark of night and the man who wins. As he was leaving, he confidently checked that his enemy was dead. Suddenly his enemy called his name, this person was shocked and then shot again. He was also very sure there was something wrong with the gun. This man is named Jaijin Daesuk, a sniper and weapons expert who is known as a legend from the underworld. After that, Jaijin Daesuk went to Mexico to meet a weapons maker and expert. Daesuk tried to investigate why the aim of the gun was missed. Daesuk tried to shoot using his flagship combat Magnum revolver, fired several times, and missed again. Then tried using another gun, but this time all the shots were on target. Daesuk realized that there was something wrong with his gun, so he asked for help to have the gun repaired. After checking that everything was perfect, this person found nothing wrong. He tries to offer Daesuk another gun he made, but Daesuk refuses and wants to get out of there. Before he left, the weapons expert told him that there was a greatest weapons maker in the city of Daejeogai, Japan. Daesuk remembered an old memory, he had long left his hometown. Daesuk returned to Japan and took a taxi to the city of Daejeogai, he was forbidden to smoke in the car and was given candy. Daejeo City, a city separated by the Tokyo Strait, is a former industrial city inhabited by immigrants from all over Japan. The women on the street were busy teasing Daesuk asking him to stop by. Daesuk asked a woman of the night named Yuri who had time to say hello. Daesuk asked what is the address of Yamatomi Bar. Yuri immediately showed him the bar. Daesuk wanted to give the girl a tip, but Yuri refused. When he got there, Daesuk met his informant named Kinjo. Because Daesuk hasn't been to Japan for a long time, Kinjo tells him about the history of Daejeogai the city of the underworld. Daejeogai is a city that is used as an escape place for criminals and homeless people. The city has shifted to control, as the previous ruler has been wiped out by the current leader. Kinjo is very confident in Daesuk's legendary abilities, asking for help not to cause trouble here. I have told the city administrator that Daesuk is a guest and you'll be safe. Daesuk just smiled when he heard Kinjo speak. Then Kinjo told him the address of the weapons expert that Daesuk was looking for, Chiharu Yagachi, who used to make weapons and sold them to the old ruler. Kinjo shows the city lord's building unexpectedly, the current lord is a woman. Gathered all the mercenaries and assassins to work under Kinjo also gave the address of Yagachi, who has now moved to the city center and opened a watch shop. The next day, Daesuk went to the weapons expert's address, but he hesitated when he saw the small watch shop guarded by two elderly people. Daesuk entered, he was looking for someone named Chiharu Yagatsai who turned out to be an old woman. Mentioning details of the brand and type of watch that Daesuk wears, asking do you want to repair this watch? Daesuk replies that he wants to fix something else. Chiharu immediately realized and asked a friend to go deliver the goods. Daesuk showed his favorite gun. Chiharu immediately knew that I was Jaijin Daesuk, the legendary sniper and weapons expert from Japan. Only Daesuk uses this type of combat magnum revolver pistol. Daesuk says there's a problem with my gun, Chiharu checks and says I can't fix it. Because he has retired, he's now just an ordinary watchmaker. Daesuk didn't force it and left the place. In a slaughterhouse in Japan, a thug named Yuya is being beaten and beaten hard. Suddenly saved by his girlfriend named Kayoko. Yuya is looking for a child who is being kidnapped and is being held captive, and Kayoko tells him to be careful because he is worried about Yuya's condition. Yuya finally found a child named Otto, this child was what he was looking for, because this child was special. At a house on the beach, the two of them have returned, and it turns out that Otto is Kayoko's kidnapped daughter. Very disappointed, because it turns out that Yuya's new girlfriend wants to sell the child. Yuya knows that this daughter is special, so I must make a lot of money, and will pick up this child tomorrow, but Kayoko is a mother who doesn't have the heart. Daesuk was in his hotel room, he was still trying out his gun but found no damage. He opened his notebook, he was going to meet an informant. Daesuk is already at a Tsubaki club, where people play Go. Daesuk is interested in the watch belonging to the informant named Yasuharu. Yasuharu said that my watch was just a copy and that it was so great that it was better than the original. Yasuharu said this was made by Chiharu, the old grandmother was the best watchmaker. Even though it was very good and more authentic than the original, everyone still thought that Chiharu's creation was just an imitation. 
ostracized from the upper classes but welcomed among the lower classes in the city of Dejiogai. Old city leader Dejiogai received weapons supplies from Chiharu, then Daisuk paid this informant but Yasuharu refused. Finally, Daisuk challenged Yasuharu to a game of Go by betting money on your watch, of course, Daisuk deliberately lost. Then Daisuk met Chiharu again, this time he came to repair his watch. Daisuk is a watch collector, he praises his grandmother's work that no one is as great as you. Then suddenly a girl named Otto came into the shop and handed her a broken watch. Chiharu immediately realized that the watch belonged to a woman I knew, Kayoko. Chiharu wants to know where this little got the watch but Otto doesn't answer. Meanwhile, in a magnificent building, a luxury car arrived. The driver opened the door and lowered the wheelchair. This woman was wearing a prosthetic leg. This woman is the new ruler of Dejiogai, named Adele, and comes to the Yakuza hero headquarters. Before the main door, the Yakuza men stopped the woman, they checked. When the driver wanted to go in, he was told to wait outside by Yakuza men. The door was opened, a person was being tortured inside and it turned out to be Yuya. This is the Yakuza leader, Hiro, it turns out Yuya intends to sell the child to Hiro. But Hiro was angry, his business never involved children. It turns out that the place where Adele was held yesterday was the place where Adele kidnapped young children from the orphanage to be used as drug workers. The Yakuza boss was angry, Adele's way of kidnapping the children was truly despicable. It was this bastard Yuya who told Adele about his crimes. Adele calmly answered, The Yakuza boss hero who pretended to be good, who was targeting his city, actually now wants to disrupt his business. This Yakuza boss said you were too bold to enter my territory, was indeed targeting the city and all of Hiro's men surrounded Adele. This woman is still about, casually taking off the prosthetic leg. The Yakuza boss offers to continue the business of making drugs, as long as he doesn't use children and Adele has to deposit 50% of the profits to Yakuza Hero. So his business would be safe, Adele hit a gun in the prosthetic leg and this woman started shooting. All the Hero's men in the room lost their lives one by one. This woman turned out to have unusual skills, her ability to use weapons was crazy. Meanwhile, outside all the guards had been killed by a driver named Takeshi Kawashima. This person was Adele's hired personal bodyguard. He was nicknamed the Thousand-Faced Assassin, because this person can change his face to match the faces of the people he has killed. Adele ordered a search for the little girl until she was found because that child was the only one who was suitable. Kawashima finds Yuya who is still alive and asks where the girl is. Meanwhile, at the watch shop, Otto sat quietly waiting for Chiharu to tell her, once upon a time, a woman named Kayoko was pregnant and asked to make a gun. The boss wanted an abortion to continue working, he wanted to kill my boss, but Chiharu refused because he didn't want Kayoko to die facing my boss. Chiharu lied that it was out of stock, then gave a watch. One day I can return to this clock and Chiharu will help. Daisuke realized something else, why a woman who didn't want to lose his child, asked her daughter to get a weapon meant she was in serious trouble. Chiharu wants Daisuke to replace and help Kayoko, but Daisuke initially refuses because he doesn't like children. After Chiharu promised to repair the gun, this man finally agreed. Before leaving, Chiharu took Daisuke to a secret place, lending Daisuke the gun I made. Daisuke was very impressed with this weapon made by his grandmother. Chiharu asked why Daisuke, a skilled shooter, had to use a Magnum combat pistol. Even though he can use all types of guns, Daisuk answered that it was his first gun. Even though he was able to replace it, he couldn't erase the memories. Daisuk and Otto headed to Kayoko's place, annoyed because Otto was walking very slowly and this child couldn't talk so it was difficult to communicate. Daisuk gives candy, but this kid doesn't want it either. Finally, Daisuk asked Otto to write down the color of the train he was on previously, which Otto wrote in the book Blue Train. Then they continued their journey, after boarding the train they connected with a red bus to Yamamura Beach. Because he was sorry to see this child in heat, Daisuke gave her a hat. Finally, they arrived at Kayoko's hiding warehouse, Daisuke asked Otto to wait for him outside. Daisuke enters and sees Kayoko already seriously injured. Dead, her body is full of red. Daisuke realized that the wound was still fresh, he immediately became alert and detected the hiding place of the people hiding. Suddenly Otto came in and saw Kayoko's condition, remembering a traumatic past. Daisuk immediately took Otto away from that place, after Daisuk left the enemy who was hiding came out but did not chase Daisuk. His subordinates asked why this person was Kawashima and answered that Jaijin Daisuk was a legendary shooter from Japan. Facing him directly was the same as looking for death and then ordering his men to follow where Daisuk went. Otto, who was afraid he couldn't run anymore, was forced to carry Daisuk. The residence of the city lord, a mafia named Akama comes and is also a famous drug trafficker. Met Adele and saw the latest drug products, Adele guaranteed that the product was very good, which could provide high levels of hallucinations and could slow down aging. Adele gave evidence. It was on the Interpol wanted list 20 years ago. It was me, now I am 52 years old but Akama doesn't believe it. 
Adele said that you don't need to pay money for troops, but bring me customers, politicians, officials, businessmen, and also people in power. I will make these people dependent on drugs and this person agrees. A moment later Kawashima came to Adele, reporting that the little girl was with Jaijin Daesuk and couldn't take her. Adele understands that people are difficult to deal with, so they will prepare a new plan. Meanwhile, Otto was sleeping accompanied by Chiharu, then suddenly this little girl became delirious and said something. This little girl experienced severe trauma in her life. Chiharu told Daesuk that Otto couldn't talk and told him that I was delirious and talking in my sleep. Daesuk concluded that the girl must be traumatized, so I didn't dare to speak. Chiharu wants to take Otto to the police station, but Daesuk forbids her to find out what Otto's relationship with Kayoko is. Kinjo, who was sitting relaxed at the bar, was approached by Kawashima with a different face. Then he was taken to the old factory and asked where Jaijin Daesuk was located. Why look for him in Japan? Kinjo didn't want to answer. Kinjo, before losing one of his arms, was also a famous assassin. Kinjo taunts Kawashima that he is a coward who likes to hide behind different faces. Kinjo wants to fight but Kawashima fraudulently defeats them. Kawashima is seen approaching a woman who turns out to be Yuri, the woman of the night, his secret girlfriend. Yuri is worried about her boyfriend, who has often been injured since Adele became the new city ruler. Suddenly the city lord's bell rang, and all the residents of Dejiogai City saluted. Yasuharu was playing Go, and suddenly a call came. The person on the other end wants to know where Jaijin Daesuk is, but Yasuharu doesn't want to answer. The next day Daesuk goes down to Chiharu's secret place, finding a note about her gun. The gun is very rare and Daesuk appears to have purposely replaced parts that didn't fit the gun. Now less able to hear the feel of the gun, I had to understand it better. Hearing a voice from above, it turned out that Otto wanted to run from there. Daesuk immediately chased, this girl was just silent. Daesuk said he had to wait for the grandmother to return because she intended to help. When he turned around, all the shop owners were there, it turned out that Chiharu's grandmother said Jaijin Daesuk was my nephew and Otto was Daesuk's daughter. All these people greeted Otto and Daesuk in a friendly manner and invited them to eat. Chiharu comes to downtown Daejiogai to investigate Otto's origins, looking for Yuri the Lady of the Night. This girl is an acquaintance of mine and has a lot of information. Chiharu tells Yuri that my best friend Kayoko has died. Yuri was surprised, he hadn't seen that woman for a long time. Chiharu asked, does Kayoko have a relative, a little girl? Yuri who heard that was also confused, as I remember Kayoko is now with her new boyfriend. Suddenly Adele came there. The very honored Chiharu Yaguchi wanted to visit my city. I know Chiharu used to make weapons for the old boss and also wants to do business with you. Chiharu denied that I had retired. Adele didn't want to force it, understood Chiharu's refusal, and left there. Daisuke has gone home to Chiharu's place, wanting to read what Otto wrote. The writing turned out to be a past incident that Otto experienced, regarding the violence he received from his adoptive father. My mother was beaten and the person didn't even give her food. My adoptive father sold me to those people and took my blood until I didn't dare to speak anymore and was very afraid. Daisuke, who read the book, was very annoyed. I, who was in the dark world, was not that cruel and very angry. Daisuke wants to go out to buy cigarettes and asks if Otto wants to come along. But my cigarettes are no longer sold in Japan. Daisuke intends to buy a new book for Otto and make a cover for the book so he can hang it around his neck. Daisuke, who is usually cold, is touched by this little girl and becomes suspicious of a woman who has just come to Chiharu's shop. It turns out that Daisuke's hunch was correct. The woman turned out to be Kawashima who changed her appearance. In the evening, Daisuke had another discussion with Chiharu, telling him the results of the investigation that Otto had no relationship with Kayoko. Daisuke realized that the residents of Daejiogai were refugees from various cities in Japan. Otto might be smuggled and sold to Daejiogai, I have a feeling that Otto will be targeted and kidnapped again. Suddenly the lights went out, Daisuke immediately ordered Chiharu to the basement and was going to take Otto. It turned out that Adele's men were there, and with strong instincts Daesuk immediately got ready. Armed men entered there, one of whom was immediately neutralized. These two people saw that their friend had fainted and the gas had been released, so they could not use firearms. Daesuk shows up and beats up these guys, one of whom realizes the gas is a trick, and starts shooting. But Daesuk was very fast, easily finishing off those people. After that, Kawashima managed to catch Otto and the knife that was already at the little girl's neck. Daesuk, realizing that this person could change faces, was forced to shoot. Because he was doubtful about hitting Otto, he was instead hit by this person's stun knife. Chiharu activates all the clocks, so they ring loudly and pull Daesuk down. The residents immediately came to the shop, and Kawashima immediately ran away from there and took Otto. In a city government building, this is why Adele is targeting and wants to kidnap Otto. The higher the level of stress and trauma in children, the better the blood is for producing new types of drugs. Adele just wanted to suck Otto's blood dry. After Otto died, other children would replace him. 
Daesuk realized that this wound had been treated, I didn't expect the poison to be quite strong. Daesuk hasn't fainted for two days, even the gun used by Adele's men was made by Chiharu. Chiharu is very sorry, she used to sell the gun to the old ruler. This grandmother intends to report this kidnapping to the police, even though she risks getting caught for selling weapons. Daesuk intervened, but that wouldn't solve the problem. The shop owners next door came to deliver food for Otto. They liked the little girl, which made Doc even more determined to save this little girl. I'm not sure that the police will be able to help with the case and Dejio guy. Daesuk feels I have a responsibility towards this little girl, so I will borrow Chiharu's gun for a while longer. Chiharu wants to hear Otto's voice again. Daesuk meets Yasuharu to find out information about the enemy. Daesuk bought ammunition from a strange flower man. The man felt honored to meet a legend like Jaijin Daesuk. After handing over the ammunition I left there. Daesuk checked the items the person brought earlier, there were bullets for the magnum and there was all the information there. Daesuk knows Adele, this woman is wanted by Interpol, a former gang leader in the Southeast Asia region. Didn't expect this woman to be here, this woman is also very quick to shoot. There is also information about Kawashima, a man who can change faces. Yasuharu also told Daesuk that Kinjo had been killed by this person and that there were many mercenaries at Adele's base. Yasuharu also said that Daesuk's chances were very small because his original weapon was damaged. Even so, Yasuharu still supports him so he can win against Adele. Daesuk's car drove towards the city of Daejiogai. Meanwhile, Adele's group started taking blood from other children and many of the children there started to get scared. Shiharu is still trying to repair Daesuk's weapon, so I will try my best. Daesuk arrived at the Kainabori area outside Daejiogai. Adele's people were already there stalking him. Daesuk's arrival caused the danger sirens to sound immediately. All the workers and residents there immediately went into the house. Adele's mercenaries prepare to face Daesuk. Yuri immediately runs to Kawashima's lover asking him not to do this. Worried about your safety, the opponent is Jaijin Daesuk. Kawashima promises that this will be the last and also for the sake of their future. Finally, Yuri allowed Kawashima to go and promised to come back to me. Kawashima also informed the boss because Jaijin Daesuk had come to this area. Adele was ready, if that person died here this place would become famous in the underworld. Daesuk walked casually, Yuri saw him and Daesuk said hello. Daesuk arrives at the Yamatomi bar and is immediately confronted by criminals. One of them wanted to sneak attack Daesuk, but of course, it was impossible to defeat me. Daesuk continued walking, he saw that there were people disguised in the market and no one escaped the bullets. Daesuk deserves to be called a legend, hundreds of bullets rained down on him but only cost them their own lives. Daesuk gets annoyed because there are too many people and fires his gun at the gas and it explodes. Finally, Daesuk arrived in front of the city lord's building, and the mercenaries immediately intervened. Now Daesuk is starting to struggle, but he is still able to deal with these people and is forced to grab the automatic weapon. These people started throwing grenades and as more and more soldiers intervened, Daesuk felt that this gun was making him unable to use his maximum abilities. Suddenly a bus breaks through, Chiharu comes and blocks the view of Daesuk's soldiers and enters the bus. It turns out that Chiharu was injured on the bus, asking Daesuk to focus. Because I came to give him a magnum combat pistol, and Daesuk could make memories with his magnum again. Daesuk returns to face Adele's mercenaries, magnum combat erupts quickly and his old friend Daesuk is unstoppable. Daesuk continued to climb the stairs, but these soldiers couldn't stop him. Daesuk ends up in a warehouse, but suddenly the warehouse lights go out. It turned out that Kawashima had prepared a plan to limit visibility. Daesuk also had difficulties, he could only rely on his hearing. This person is agile and his knife is very fast. Daesuk praised him and asked why he had a career in Japan. The knife was thrown back, the reflection hitting the gas cylinder. The gun shot upwards and made the person visible. This time Kawashima couldn't dodge, he managed to stand up but no one survived Daesuk's gun and Kawashima ended up dead. Daesuk managed to arrive at the laboratory. He was very angry to see these people using small children and killing everyone including the mafia boss at Kama. Daesuk also managed to get to Adele's place. When he wanted to open fire, Adele asked to stop, using Otto as a shield. Adele was surprised to see the gun Daesuk was using. Jaijin Daesuk always uses his magnum combat. Daesuk answered, my partner is out of bullets. Adele said that he would give Otto a decent life and asked Daesuk not to interfere and leave his city. Daesuk heard the little girl speak. After that Daesuk refused because Adele wouldn't be able to make me smile. Then this woman pushed Otto away and stood up. Then Adele took out a bullet and threw it. Challenges Jaijin Daesuk to a duel. Adele says if this wheelchair touches the wall, the duel starts. This woman accepted death with a smile. Yuri cried seeing the city leader defeated and that meant my lover had also died. Daesuk invites this little girl to go home. At the end of the film Daesuk is cooking meat to serve to Chiharu. And then Otto, who looks feminine, comes to the dining table. 
Chiharu tells Otto not to imitate Daisuke's way of eating and Otto smiles broadly when he hears this. This grandmother is very happy, from now on I will adopt Otto. Daisuke left there because his business with Magnum Combat was finished. He didn't expect to be back in action in Japan, Daisuke casually lay down waiting to be picked up and the film ended.